Game Collector here. And when I was first thinking of importing Nintendo GameCube games, the very first game that came to my mind was Bonk. Now, this game is just great. It's made by Hudson and it is a total remake of the very first Bonk game on the TurboGrafx 16, which I'm also a big fan of. So knowing that Japan got this and we didn't here in the States made me extremely jealous. And I tell you what, I could not be happier to get this game. The graphics here are amazing. This is just one of the best looking 2D games on the GameCube, which there isn't many of them. But that aside, it does look really great. The enemies here are just lively and amazingly drawn. So is Bonk himself. He doesn't really look like he did in the original Bonk game. Instead, he's more like a cartoon, almost like you're playing a cartoon. There's multiple levels of parallax scrolling. And even when Bonk hits things, words come up. All the onomatopoeia that's involved it makes it look like you're playing a comic book, but just better, because it's Bonk. When it comes to sound design, Hudson was on top of their game. The music is nice and upbeat, but the variety really isn't there. There's probably about three or four tracks in the entire game. Also, there's some nice chimes at the end of every level that signify that you beat the level. And it's really some of the best chimes that there is in video games outside of Super Mario Brothers. It just really makes you want to keep on playing and keep beating more levels. When you run into enemies, they have a nice, satisfying smack sound. When you die, it has a nice scream of terror. When you get a nice power-up, it just sounds amazing. In the original bonk for the TurboGrafx, it always made this really weird sound, and I really wasn't quite sure what was going on, and it was goofy to me. But here in this game, it sounds amazing. The only thing negative I could say about the sound design overall is the smiley faces. When you pick one up, it makes an ear-cringing cling sound, and it just doesn't sound right at all, which is a shame because you pick up smiley faces a lot in this game. The gameplay here is easy enough to figure out. The A button jumps or lets go of vines if you're swinging from a vine. The B button does the awesome headbutt maneuver, but also can make you hover in air. It almost makes it like you're flying through the level, and you can kind of cheese your way through some of the levels with this maneuver. The hit detection is overall very good, but on bosses can be very precise. So you might think you're hitting them, but really you're taking damage of for yourself. Also, if you happen to die on a boss or anywhere in the game, instead of starting from the beginning of the level, you just pick up right where you were, which is pretty nice, but it can make the game feel easy at times. However, some of these bosses are hard enough that require multiple lives being used. The power-ups are pretty neat as well. There's an 8 power-up if you get the first piece of meat, which makes Bonk a little stronger and does a bit more damage it seems. There's a tan bonk for a second piece of meat that just upgrades him again. And if you get a third piece of meat or a giant piece of meat, you become invincible. Now you do power down uh, if you get hit, but <laughs> overall I think you're just going to find yourself finishing the level before you even get hit. Now, another cool thing is the points. There is lots of points in this game. However, there's no score counter. I personally like to juggle these enemies and get rack up lots of points and kind of see how long I could juggle them in the air. Oh, it's very fun and very satisfying. Quick look at the bosses here. I'm not going to spoil too much here but they're mostly your friends. They're wearing a helmet that kind of controls them, so the goal is to smash the helmet and break their control. Now they run from really easy, that you could just spam one attack and take them down really fast, to really hard with precision jumping and blazing speed. They can be pretty big in size or small, 
but they're all drawn very well. Overall, Bonk here on the GameCube is a great game. And if you're looking to import a 2D platformer, this should be the first game you get. Overall, it's one of my favorite games that I have in my collection, and it's Bonk for the Nintendo GameCube. Thanks for watching.